हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द प्रॉब्लम्स फ्रॉम फिफ्थ यूनिट व्हिच वाज जस्ट आई टोल्ड यू द थ्योरी ऑफ दिस इट इज यूनिट फाइव प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बल्क मैटर प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बल्क मैटर्स सी इट इज फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम आ सेंटीग्रेड एंड फॉरेनाइट थर्मोमीटर आर डिप्ड इन द बॉइलिंग वॉटर मीन्स हंड्रेड डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड The water temperature is lowered until the Fahrenheit thermometer register 140 degree Fahrenheit. What is the fall in temperature as registered by the centigrade thermometer? You know that boiling water has temperature of 100 degree centigrade. So initial temperature was. Hundred degree centigrade. Now, the temperature in Fahrenheit is one forty degree centigrade. If we convert this into degree centigrade, we can get temperature is lowered by which amount in degree Celsius scale. So, what is equivalent temperature of one forty degree for the Fahrenheit? we have a scale f minus 32 by 180 is equals to c upon 100 we want to convert 140 degree for a night in 2 degree celsius so 140 degree in for a night Minus thirty-two, cancel twenty-nine za twenty-five za. Multiplied by five is equals to nine c. One forty minus thirty-two, one hundred eight. Nine one za nine, nine two za eighteen. So in degree Celsius. it should be 60 degree centigrade it means temperature of water is coming down from 100 degree centigrade to 60 degree centigrade so therefore fall in temperature fall in temperature it should be 100 minus 60 Means forty degree centigrade. So we are going with C. This problem was from AIPMT nineteen ninety. Second, I told you up to three fifty, say three sixty, we can measure from mercury thermometer. So theory, theoretical question they asked in nineteen ninety two, that from mercury thermometer. Generally, we can measure up to a temperature of three sixty degree Celsius. So we are going with option C. Next, on a new scale of temperature, which is linear and called the W scale, the freezing and boiling points of water are thirty nine degree W and two thirty nine degree W. What will be the temperature on the new scale corresponding to a temperature of thirty-nine degrees Celsius? Very easy. We know that this term is same for any scale. A known temperature minus lowest. What is lowest in this scale? It is thirty-nine divided by 
highest fixed point on this scale it was 239 minus lowest it is 39 for celsius scale it is c minus 0 means c upon 100 minus 0 means 100 i got the relation so now it is easy for me to convert any temperature from your unknown w scale to degree celsius scale we want to see 39 degree celsius is equal to which w degree so in place of c we are going to put 39 because we want to convert this into that x what is the value of x in that scale it is x minus 39 239 minus 39 is 200 100 is cancelled with this i got 2 39 into 2 78 so in that scale temperature should be 78 plus 39 means 9 and 8 17 carry 1117 degree w so we are going with option d this problem they asked in 2008 aipmt exam if you know this fact ki unknown temperature minus lowest fixed point upon highest fixed point minus lowest fixed point is same for all scale you can convert any temperature of a known scale to a known scale or known to unknown next now we are going to discuss the fourth problem of your crash course unit number five it is from 1988 aipmt 10 gram of ice cubes at zero degree centigrade are released into a tumbler whose water equivalent is 55 gram what is water equivalent product of m and s at 40 degree centigrade assuming that negligible heat is taken from the surrounding the temperature of water in the tumbler becomes nearly so we are going to use the law of calorimetry principle of calorimetry it is from also 19th class it is very simple only one rule is there heat given is equals to heat taken it is a simple principle of law of calorimetry heat given is equals to heat taken and you know that heat taken when there is a change of state means solid is converting into liquid liquid is converting into gas or gas is converting into liquid or liquid is converting into solid in change of state heat given or heat taken is calculated by q is equals to ml where l is the latent heat and when there is no change of state only temperature is rising or falling then we have to use q is equals to ms theta theta means specific heat theta means specific heat so who is the source of heat which is giving heat suppose common temperature is let temperature means final it is theta so water it, that tumbler will give heat because it is at high temperature and heat given is ms ms they gave 55 theta temperature is coming from 40 to theta so change in temperature is 40 minus theta this heat is taken by ice what ice will do first ice will melt 
ice will melt. So, we can calculate energy by the formula m into L. What is latent heat? 80 calories per gram. 1 gram ice need 80 calories to melt. So, for 10 gram heat required is 10 into 80 plus m s theta. Now, it becomes a water of 0 degree. So, now this 10 gram water of 0 degree will go up to theta. So, heat required is m specific heat of water is 1 change in temperature 0 to theta means theta. So, what we are getting 55 into 40 2 to double 0 minus 55 theta is equals to 800 plus 10 theta. So, 65 theta is equals to 2 to double 0 minus 800. It is 1 4 double 0. So, we are getting theta is equals to 1 4 double 0 divided by 65 first cancelling with 5. Thirteen, thirteen two is a twenty-six. Carry to twenty. Thirteen one is a thirteen. Point. Thirteen five is a thirteen four is a. So rounding up. So, we are writing it 22 degrees Celsius. So, we are going with option B. Next problem. It is from 1990 AIPMT problem is very direct. Only you have to take care of unit to solve this problem. Thermal capacity of 40 gram of aluminium is Again, the thermal capacities formula is M into S. Thermal capacity means heat required to raise the temperature of object by 1 degree. So, it is also equal to M S theta, theta is 1 M into S. So, thermal capacity of any object means its mass into its specific heat. Only we have to take care of this. What we are writing in M? It is 40 gram. In S, we are using G and K. See, how to tackle with unit? Carefully observe this. I am explaining. In place of M, I am writing only 40 gram. But in place of S, I am writing 0.2. So, what unit I am getting? See, I am multiplying gram by calorie per gram Kelvin. Gram, gram is cancelled out. So, what is the unit? Calorie per Kelvin. But I need my answer in Joule per Kelvin. So, I know that 1 calorie means 4.2 joule. Joule gave this relation. So, it is the value of joules constant only. So, I can convert this number of calories into joule by putting the value of calorie means 4.2 joule. So, now my unit is matching with the units of 4 options. And what is the number? We can calculate. 4 into 2 into 4.2 means 8 into 4.2 means 33.6 joule per Kelvin. So, we are going with option D. Next. 
द हीट इज फ्लोइंग थ्रू टू सिलेंड्रिकल रॉड्स ऑफ सेम मटेरियल द डायमीटर्स ऑफ द रॉड्स आर इन द रेशियो वन इज टू टू एंड देयर लेंस आर इन द रेशियो टू इज टू वन द टेम्परेचर डिफरेंस बिटवीन देयर एंड इज द सेम द रेट ऑफ द रेशियो ऑफ रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ हीट थ्रू दैम विल बी it was a problem from 1995 aipmt first i am talking about first rod suppose q1 heat is flowing what is the formula q is equals to ka theta1 minus theta2 rate of flow so i am taking t on that side by d it is for first rod what is for second rod rate of flow of heat so we will read again what they are talking about material they are saying same material so k should be same so i am putting k diameters are in the ratio 1 is to 2 If diameter of A was one, diameter of B should be two. We know that the relation between area and diameter it is pi d square by four because area of cross section is pi r square. To r I am writing d, so d square by four. So if diameter is double, area should be four times. So I am writing here four a. What about temperature difference? They are saying temperature difference is same. So it means I have to write only theta one minus theta two. What about length? Lengths are in the ratio two is to one. It means if length of first rod is two, second rod is one. Means half of length. So in place of d, I am writing d by two. taking this two in numerator so what is the now ratio of rate of flow of heat means q1 by t divided by q2 by t first i am writing q1 by t ka theta1 minus theta2 by d divided by i am putting the sign of multiplication and reversing the ratio d upon 2k 4a theta 1 minus theta 2 cancel k a with k a d with d this with this so what we are getting 1 is to 8 so we are going with option d next a cylindrical rod having temperature t1 and t2 at its ends if all the linear dimensions are doubled keeping temperature constant then rate of flow of heat q2 will be again same type of problem but it is from 2001 aipmt what is the formula for rate of flow of heat writing again q is equals to ka theta 1 minus theta 2 into t upon d rate of flow means q by t initially it was ka theta 1 minus theta 2 by d it was initial scenario what we are doing now now i am taking it q2 upon t what is the changes in second case all the linear dimensions are doubled all the linear dimensions are doubled 
means radius is doubled length is doubled material is same so k is same if radius is doubled a will become four times a will become four times d is also doubled so cancel 1 2 so what we are getting two times the q1 by t so you can see q2 is equals to 2 q1 so we are going with b we are going with b next consider two rods of same length and different specific heats conductivities are different area of cross sections again different but having temperature difference same rate of loss of heat due to conduction it equal to means we want to compare they are saying if rate of loss of heat due to conduction is equal means q by t is same in both cases in first case what is the value of q by t k a theta 1 minus theta 2 by d in second case k is k2 a is first case a was a1 it is a2 temperature difference same length is also same given q by t in first case is equals to q by t in second case it means k1 a1 into t1 minus t2 by d k2 a2 cancel this it is d cancel this t1 minus t2 with this d with d what we are getting k1 a1 is equals to k2 a2 so we are going with a which of the following rods given radius r and length l each made of the same material and whose ends are maintained at the same temperature will conduct most heat. So, first we have to convert in this dimensions what is rate of flow of heat Q by T is given by Ka. theta 1 minus theta 2 divided by d and what is a a is pi r square it means rate of flow of heat is directly proportional to material is same k is constant pi is again a constant temperature difference again constant so it will depend only upon 
r square by d what is the value of r square by d for a it is r not square by l not in b it is r not square upon 2l not sorry 2r not in b 2r not so it is square means 4 r not square upon l not what is in c in c it is r not square upon 2 l not in d it is 4 r not square upon 2 l not means so clearly it is maximum for b it is maximum for b so we are going with b option next the two ends of a rod of length x and a uniform cross section area a are kept at two temperatures theta 1 and theta 2 theta 1 is greater than theta 2 the rate of heat transfer dq upon dt through the rod in a steady state is given by direct they are asking formula dq by dt is ka theta 1 minus theta 2 upon d so we are going with c it was problem from 2009 aipmt next it is from 2002 aipmt which of the following is best close to an ideal black body black lamp cavity maintained at constant temperature platinum black a lump of charcoal heated at high temperature definitely we will go with c platinum black next it is from 2000 aipmt a black body has maximum wavelength lambda m at temperature of 2000 kelvin its corresponding wavelength at temperature 3000 kelvin will be clearly it is a problem from Wien's law of displacement what Wien's law says maximum wavelength and temperature their product should be constant initially it was lambda m into 2000 now since temperature is changed lambda m will change because product should be constant so removing these three zeros with these three what we are getting lambda m is equals to 2 lambda m by 3 so we are going with option b 2 lambda m by 3 13th it is again from 2002 aipmt the v's displacement law expresses the relation between a wavelength corresponding to maximum energy and temperature b radiation energy and wavelength c temperature and wavelength d color of light and temperature definitely it is related to wavelength corresponding to maximum energy and temperature so we will go with option a 14th if lambda m denotes the wavelength at which the radioactive emission from a black body at a temperature t kelvin is maximum means lambda m 
corresponds to wavelength related to maximum energy. So, its product with temperature should be constant because temperature is in Kelvin. It means take T on that side, we will get this relation. So, we are going with D 2006 AIPMT a black body at 1227 degree centigrade emits radiation with maximum intensity at a wavelength of 5000 angstrom. The temperature of body is increased by 1000 degree centigrade. The maximum intensity will be observed at C. T1 was 1227 plus 273 it means 1500 Kelvin and wavelength it was 5000 angstrom. Now we make temperature we increase the temperature by 1000 degree centigrade remember that change in temperature for both scale Kelvin and degree Celsius is equal. If you are increasing the temperature by 1000 degree centigrade in Kelvin it is increased by 1000 Kelvin. So, new temperature should be 2500 Kelvin. We want to calculate new wavelength related to maximum energy. Wien's law T1 lambda M1 it should be equal to T2 lambda M2. What is T1? 1500, 5000, T2, lambda M2, T2 lambda M2, zero. Two thousand five thousand. So what we are getting new wavelength is three thousand angstrom. So we are going with option A. We are going with option A. So in next slide, now we will discuss sixteenth problem.